Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you cannot apply font formatting to a text containing object if it is selected as an object. When selected as an object, you can only apply shape formatting to that object even if the shape contains text. To apply text formatting to text within an object, you must click into the text within the object and then select the text to which you want to apply your font formatting. Once you have selected the text, you can click the buttons available in the Font button group on either the Home tab or the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to apply font formatting. Hold your mouse pointer over any button shown in the button group to see a screen tip that shows the name and function of each button. Note that some buttons, such as the Font Color button, have a small drop-down arrow on them that you can click to select a choice from a drop-down menu. Other buttons, such as the bold or italic buttons, are simply toggle buttons that either apply or remove the formatting specified by the button. Also notice the clear formatting button, which removes all text formatting from selected text, returning it to plain text within a text containing shape. Alternately, if you select text within an object, you can also hold your mouse pointer over selected text and simply wait for the mini toolbar to appear. You can then use the formatting buttons in the mini toolbar to apply many common font formatting options. For advanced users, you can set all font formatting options for selected text by clicking the Font Dialog Box Launcher button in the lower right corner of the Font button group on either the Home tab in the ribbon or the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Font Dialog box that then appears, you can access many different text effects. Use the various drop-downs, menus, and checkboxes to apply the formatting that you want. At the bottom of this dialog box is a preview of how the selected font formatting will appear. You can click the Apply button to apply the formatting and leave the font dialog box open, or you can simply click the OK button to apply the formatting and close the dialog box. You can also apply paragraph formatting to selected text by clicking the buttons available within the Paragraph button group that appears on the Home tab within the ribbon. Here you will find bullets and numbering, line spacing, paragraph alignment, and special characters. Like font formatting, you can click the Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher button that appears in the lower right corner of this button group to open the Paragraph Dialog Box. In this dialog box, you can set the properties shown on the three tabs available, Indents and Spacing, Tabs, and Line and Paragraph Breaks. Make your desired paragraph formatting choices on these tabs, and then click the OK button to apply them. Publisher also allows you to apply predefined styles to selected text. Styles allow you to create a consistent appearance of the text within your publication, such as title text and heading text. To apply a style to selected text, click the Styles drop-down button in the Styles button group on the Home tab in the ribbon, and then select the desired text style to apply from the drop-down menu. In the Arrange button group on the Home tab in the ribbon, you will find options you can apply to selected text within a shape, as well as options that apply to the entire shape itself. Click the Wrap Text drop-down to select a style of text wrapping to apply to text within a text box. Click either the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop-down buttons to change the order in which the selected object overlaps other objects on the page. Click the Align button to choose one of the available alignment options displayed within the drop-down buttons menu of choices. If you have multiple objects simultaneously selected within your page, you can click the Group button to group the individual shapes together as a single unit. Clicking the Ungroup choice will split grouped objects back into their individual components. You can click the Rotate button to select a rotation option for the selected object from the drop-down menu of Rotation Choices. You can also click the Format tab of the Textbox Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to see other attributes that you can apply to selected text in a text box as well as to the text box itself. If you have text selected, you can click the Text Fit drop-down button in the Text button group on the Format tab of the Textbox Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to apply a selected method of fitting text within the shape. You can click the Text Direction button to alternate the text between vertical and horizontal display. 
you can click the hyphenation button to open the hyphenation dialog box where you can set whether or not to automatically hyphenate text within a text box and where the hyphenation should occur. You can click the manual button in this dialog box to manually set hyphenation if desired. When you're finished using the hyphenation dialog box, click the OK button. Also note that you can click the Format Text Box Launcher that appears in the lower right corner of the Text Button group on the Format tab of the Text Box Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. This action will open the Format Text Box dialog box and display the Text Box tab. This dialog box allows you to set all of the Text Box properties that are available. When finished, click the OK button to apply any changes you have made. The Font button group that is shown on the Format tab of the Textbox Tools Contextual tab displays the same choices that you have shown within the Font button group on the Home tab within the ribbon. In the Alignment button group on this tab, you can set the horizontal and vertical alignment of text within the shape by simply clicking on a desired button. You can click the Columns and the Margins buttons to set the column display in a shape or to set the internal margin size within the shape. In the linking button group, you can create a link between text boxes so that overflow from the first text box will appear within the second text box. This allows you to continue a story across multiple text boxes on different pages, which can be useful for newsletter publications. To do this, select the first text box that contains the text that you wish to link. Then click the Create Link button. Next, click on the empty text box where you want the overflow text to appear to create a link between the two boxes. Arrows will appear on these text boxes once they are linked. You can click the arrows to easily move between the two linked boxes. Once linked, you can also click the Break button that appears in the Create Link button group to break a link. You can also click the Next and Previous buttons to jump between linked text boxes quickly. In the Word Art Styles button group on the Format tab of the Textbox Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon, you can click on a Word Art Style shown to apply it to the selected text. You can click the Text Fill drop-down button in the same button group to choose a fill color for the selected text. You can click the Text Outline drop-down button to choose a color, weight, dash style, and outline effects for the selected text. You can click the Text Effects drop-down button to select a type of text effect grouped by category to apply to the selected text from the drop-down menu that appears. In the Typography button group on the Format tab of the Textbox Tools Contextual tab, click the Drop Cap drop-down to select a style of drop cap to use for the selected text. If the text you select is numeric, you can use the Number Style drop-down to choose a number style. Click the Ligatures drop-down to set a desired ligature style for the text, which can improve readability. For some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Sets drop-down to select a set of alternate character shapes for the selected text. If the font you've selected includes decorative characters, then you can click the Swash button to enable flourishes within the selected text. For some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Alternate drop-down to select a set of different character shapes for the selected text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.